Rolex Certified Pre-Owned, the new most expensive way to buy a pre-owned Rolex. Welcome to RoySwap, my name is Harrison. Today we're talking about Rolex's Certified Pre-Owned, which is a new program they just announced. And this has raised a lot of questions. It's also raised a lot of hope. If you don't know about the Rolex market in general, briefly, essentially, Rolex models are impossible to buy new. And a lot of times that means it's commanding a higher price on the secondary market for certain models because no one can buy them, demand goes up, therefore the price goes up. It's pretty self-explanatory. The hope people have is that because Rolex is certifying pre-owned watches, they're gonna somehow grasp that secondary market and drive prices down. But the question is, is that in their favor and why are they introducing this program in the first place? So the Rolex certified pre-owned program is just limited to certain ADs, but apparently it's supposed to expand across most, if not all, of their ADs. And so the question is, why are they doing a certified pre-owned program at all? They never used to do this. It's nothing they've ever done before, but why are they doing it now? And not only that, but also who are they trying to service? Now I'm gonna use an analogy because my background is as a manufacturer. We manufacture a product, we sell it to dealers, those dealers then sell it to clients and install it on their homes. And that's a louvered pergola, pergola opens and closes. And I know that for me, my main priority is to make those dealers happy because they're the ones that are buying the product or at least pushing the product to the end consumer. I wanna make sure that they have an easy to install product, that it's reliable, that I supply them as best as possible and I service them when they need it. That is my customer. Now the end customer obviously needs to have a good product, but the basic component is make your dealer happy to make sure that they sell the product. Now Rolex doesn't have that exact same problem, obviously. People want Rolexes in general, but you still need to make that dealer happy. You still have to nurture that relationship unless they plan on opening boutiques all over the place, which will take them a long time and a lot of money. In the interim, they still need to make sure that those dealers are happy. Currently, dealers, if you put yourself in the dealer's shoes, they're experiencing a lot of demand, which feels great, but a lot of disgruntled customers as well. You can imagine they have 15 customers that are very good, long-standing customers that are asking for a specific model that they cannot buy because Rolex doesn't have it, they can't send them a new model, and so that dealer has to sell them a pre-owned model, or at least try and incentivize them a pre-owned model that doesn't have the same warranty and the same sort of service history. Even if it did have the same service history, what is that look like from the dealer's end? And the goal for an AD, if you're a family-owned jeweler, is to make money. Most ADs that I know of on a pre-owned model want to make about 20 to 30 percent. Usually that's closer to 30 percent, whereas a gray market dealer can buy it and he can resell it for very low margins. I'm talking five, 10 percent margin because they're just flipping like crazy. They're flipping them quickly. As a dealer, you have a brick and mortar space. You have a location that you have to support. You have overhead, you have employees, you have a lot of extra stuff these gray market dealers don't have. So if you're a dealer and you wanna sell a pre-owned Rolex Daytona, where are you gonna buy it from? You're gonna buy it from someone and you're gonna to have to buy it at somewhat close to the current retail price for a pre-owned model. So if it's 30 grand, you still have to buy it for about 26, 28. And that's the dealer buying it. Rolex isn't going there and spending $28,000 to buy that model back. Then you need to make your percentage on it and then you need to list it. Now as a dealer, you can list it a little bit higher than a gray market dealer because you have a little bit more reputation behind you. But you don't quite have enough reputation behind you to command a larger premium. Introduce Rolex Certified Pre-Owned. If Rolex, the guy who isn't servicing you now new watches and is causing you to have this difficult experience, now says, look, I understand you're having a difficult experience. What I'd like to do is I'll certify pre-owned, I'll service the watch, and then I'll send it back to you. You can command a little extra margin. That way you can still make money in this business with watches that I do provide, and I can give you that service, and that way we kind of repair this relationship. In a business sense, that's how I see it. I think that Rolex is getting into the gray market as a way to service their dealers, to make their dealers able to make a little more margin. For example, if Jake has a Rolex Daytona and he wants to sell it, where's he gonna go? First, he's gonna go to his local AD and try and get the best price he can. That AD might offer him $26,000. Then he goes to a gray market dealer and says, hey, how much you wanna buy this for? And he says, I'll buy it for 29,000. And then he will flip it, sell it for 30 grand, make a thousand, and then walk away. That dealer won't do that. 
That dealer has to buy it at 26. He has to then service it. Then he has to put it into inventory for 32 because he wants to make enough margin on it to make that whole experience, including the servicing, listing, overhead, all that stuff worth it inside that watch. And obviously it's gonna sit there because it's at a higher price than the gray market dealers. Now, if it's certified pre-owned, if he can add a tag to it that has an extra warranty and has a service history from Rolex as well as authentication, now he might be able to buy that watch for 27. He can bring a little bit more in, and then he can sell it for 34 or 36. That way he makes more margin on the product. He's more competitive on the buying end because he knows he can sell it at a higher price on the secondary end. So that's my theory. I think Rolex is offering this service to their dealers as a way, as a premium, to essentially allow them to have a little extra buying power and a little extra selling power in terms of commanding a certain price. Whether or not Rolex can actually dictate the price of a model on the secondary market is obviously not at all possible. Rolex probably makes an Oyster Perpetual for let's say about two grand if they wanna make 50% margin on the product. That means they sell it to a dealer for $4,000. That dealer then sells it for about 6,000 because they wanna make about 40% on a new model. Then the watch is gonna then resale right now for around $10,000. Rolex is not going to go back into that market, buy a watch for 12 grand that cost them $2,000 to make just to drive the price down. Plus, they don't have enough money on hand to buy all the different watches of every different model in order to suck up the market and drive the price down. It's simply supply and demand, and Rolex can't choose what the demand curve is going to be. They can only choose how they react to it. And so I believe this service is another premium. For example, if you look at the hierarchy of price, you can buy it from a secondary owner, some random person who has a Rolex Submariner. That's gonna be probably the lowest price, somewhere like on eBay. Then you buy it in person from a secondary owner, you might pay a little more for that. Then you buy it from a gray market dealer, or someone on Instagram, that sort of thing. Then you buy it from a reputable gray market dealer, someone that's online and has a pretty good store, but you know you don't know everything about them. They're still online, still a relatively low overhead. Then you're gonna buy it from a brick and mortar shop. Now Rolex certified pre-owned is a premium. It's like having extra box and papers. You've got the watch naked, you've got it with box and papers, now you have it box and papers or certified pre-owned. And that certified pre-owned with the warranty gives you a lot of reassurance and obviously elevates the price. It's the same thing with Omega. You've got the archives out there for old models. If you have an extract from the archives, you can command a higher price for that watch. So that's what I think Rolex certified pre-owned is. I think it's essentially a premium that Rolex is offering their dealers to help make them happy. It will essentially dictate the highest price for an existing watch on the market at the moment. So you'll see that that's the highest price, but that's not the price ceiling. If there's more demand and it drives prices up, every time someone buys it, every time a dealer buys it, it's gonna keep driving that price up and up. So that's my two cents on it. I took a few days to think about this. I think that it's an interesting play. I think it totally makes sense. I think a lot of people that have deep pockets will want to buy it that way for extra reassurance. It'll be interesting to see how it plays out in the long run, but I think that's essentially what it is. Unfortunately, it's not super great news for people like me that want to just buy a watch that they enjoy, but that's, I think, what we're going to see play out. We'll see, but till the next one, take care.